Hey everybody, it's me, Fly. Today we're gonna to be cooking. So the history behind this video is that, um, Dad, don't take this the wrong way, but you always made dry eggs, dry omelets, dry scrambled, and I think that's like a that that's a thing. That's a proper way of actually making an omelet, but it's it's not it's not the best for me. Today, what I'm going to be showing you is how to make a two egg omelet, very healthy and extremely not dry. It's not the best omelet in the world, but to me. And making it, it's probably the best omelet I'll ever make. Period. Okay, so we already, so we're gonna make, we're gonna have mushrooms, onions, tomato, and two eggs. Does this look like those videos on YouTube? Let me know. And then we're gonna use an eight inch skillet. Eight inch. I don't know if you can see that. Eight inch skillet. These are the best. You don't, just because, you know, good surface is here to flip the egg and um, just a really nice size for an omelet. Not to fill you, so this omelet isn't supposed to fill you up entirely. It's just supposed to get you on, put some food in your stomach and then get you on your way. Okay, move this over here. Oh, we got cylinder things. All right, you guys talk. All right, everything's going good. Don't worry guys. Okay, so we're gonna get our mushrooms. We don't need that many. Mushrooms, Let's see if you can see that, not really. Let's move it over here. This is a, okay, this is a bad burner. Oh, this is perfect, look at that. Look how nice that looks, wow. Wow. All right, right there. Get some mushrooms in there, like, like that. That's enough, I think. I don't want that big one in there. Like that. And then we'll get some, some onion, onion, onion. Say it with me, guys. Onion. Okay, now, now you get some olive oil. I know that. I know this isn't a sauté pan. I just really don't. Ooh, that's too much. We're gonna pour some of that out. Yeah, this isn't a saute pan. I think, think, think as the, the chefs of the world, they call this the saucepan. But I don't really care. Ooh, let me get my favorite spatula. Yes. Yes. Or whatever you call this thing. Saute, get them all nice and sauteed. And while, we're, while that's cooking, we can cut our tomato up. So I like to make my omelet uh, tomatoes in like little cubes almost. It's kind of like this. See that? Kind of like that. I don't know if it will get that on camera. Okay, that one right there though. Let's do this. <laughs> uh, if, you're, if you're a chef, I'm sorry, but this is just how I do things. It is easy. This, this is the thing. Food's supposed to be easy. If it's supposed to be hard, you need to go out to dinner. Unless you're a chef. Okay, we got our tomatoes. This is almost done. We'll get our eggs ready. Okay. Eggs here. We can turn the power or the heat down on that. More power, baby. Okay, so with the eggs, we're going to scramble them. You don't have a whisk. I think it's in the wash. We'll use a fork. Like this. Okay. Now, if you want to be fancy, you can add some salt. And then even more fancier, which I can't find right now. Ah, here we go. Some weed. Oh, 
those are done. And then that's done. Don't fall over on me. And then we're gonna get this on the burner. Put a little bit of butter in it. This is just to coat it. You see? Get all the sides. You want butter like this to get all the sides. And then in the middle. Okay, good. Got it pretty good. Now we're just gonna dump the excess out. Okay. Let it heat up a little bit more. Okay, so this is kind of getting piping hot. In we go. It's a process. We gotta be quick, smooth, and now the trick to this omelet is that once it gets a little bit hotter, we want to keep moving the egg around. Let's even get a better shot on that. Mm-hmm. We're gonna keep moving the egg around. We don't want one part of the egg to cook for too long. And this is at full power on a medium burner. This is the way I've learned learned doing it at home. And I usually just make zigzags, crosses, X's, and you can see how it's getting nice and thick. Thick! So right here, right there, you see that? Well, maybe, maybe a little bit more. A little bit more. You wanna get it all over the pan like that. Okay, in the middle. You need to wait a little bit like this. And then I'm gonna say off just for right now. Okay, and now we have our sauteed onion and mushroom into it. Okay, we got our tomato. That looks good. And so it's still cooking, and the burner underneath of it is still really hot. A little bit of cheese. Maybe like a tablespoon worth. Okay. Now you gotta just judge this. You can watch the video time of me doing this, but it's just, it's all in the head. It's all mentality. Okay, I'll say that's good. Okay. Now we take this, see how this is really, really, really flimsy? I like this because I can get underneath the egg really nice. I tilt this, like this is not mess this up. Yeah. Yeah, you see it? Perfect. It's not burnt at all. Can you guys see that? I can't tell. Um, I don't think there's too much light. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we'll just let it heat up a little bit. We'll grab a small plate. And then how I like to do it so I don't damage the omelet is he just go, you take this and just go plop, and look at your omelet. Oh, sorry. Look at your omelet. It's perfect. Two egg omelet. Two egg. So it's about maybe only 140 calories if you use both yolks. Cheese, maybe another 40, 20, 30 calories. So about 200 calorie breakfast. Let's cut into it. Perfect. And yet, you can always add more cheese or whatever, but. Mm. I'm telling you. Look at that bite. And the great thing is that if you want to be even more healthier, you don't need to use the cheese. The way you cook this is that you don't let the egg fully cook. You know, it's, it's still wet inside it. Don't at me. Now, if you don't like wet eggs, you're not gonna like this at all. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I suggest, guys, you gotta try this. It's really easy. Follow this video's instructions. Just watch the time, and you will mess up, but you're gonna be able to do it. And you're gonna be, be able to impress your family, and your grandma, and your girlfriend, and your boyfriend, and everybody.
That's kind of getting hot down there. Peace, guys.